The member for Kabul. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Education. Can the Minister update the House on how the Marshall Government is supporting schools across South Australia, but particularly in my community? The Minister for Education. Thank you, sir, and it's a great privilege to be able to uh, share with the House some of the information about the important work underway in supporting school communities uh, in the member for Carvel's electorate, in the uh, Adelaide Hills more broadly, uh, and across South Australia as part of a $1.3 billion investment in public school infrastructure, a record investment indeed, sir. And that's alongside, of course, investments that this government has made in the non-government sector as well, uh, and in the member for Carvel's own electorate. We uh, uh, were there last week as King's Baptist. Uh, were able to turn the sod on their first uh, uh, movement of soil in the development they're doing in Mount Barker to provide further choice in that community as well. But particularly in the public schooling system, uh, the students and young people and children in Mount Barker and the broader Carvel area in the Adelaide Hills are, doing, are going to be very, very much the recipients and beneficiaries of some of the work that's going on. Um, the member for Carvel and I were uh, greatly appreciative of uh, Principal Warren Simons and his team at Mount Barker High School. Uh, who took the time to share with us last week some of the extraordinary growth that is anticipated at that school in the coming years, not just as a result of Year 7 coming into high school, but also the population growth, as we're seeing in many uh, schools across the metropolitan and regional South Australia, that we'll see growth in the need for public schooling. Uh, currently, uh, uh, I think about 700 students, 800 students at Mount Barker High to grow to 1,200 students in the next couple of years. And indeed, the investments of $6 million to start with and then a the one and a half million dollars at Mount Barker High to, in addition to their uh, other infrastructure project, also expand the special options offering, uh, is going very well. Construction uh, on the major project is due to be completed by August, sir. A complete renovation of the upstairs and the most significant building there, and indeed the realisation of that space uh, for modern learning facilities, 21st century facilities uh, that will rapidly enhance the learning that is able to be done, that the teaching can be done in the style to which the curriculum is now uh, supposed to be delivered. It was also a pleasure with the member for Carville to see some of the areas that have already been completed and are already in use. Indeed, sir, right around South Australia, dozens of the programs uh, within schools, the sub-programs, the separable portions, if you like, of programs within schools that are underway have been completed and are already being enjoyed by those students. Uh, and the areas, the flexible classrooms that were created, particularly with an eye to being available for performing arts uh, as part of that program at Mount Barker High, uh, really add quite a lot to the built environment at Mount Barker High School and enable the students uh, to... Uh, achieve that benefit now as well as catering uh, for the expanded capacity that is going to be needed in the future. But there's more. The Mount Barker Primary School, there's an $11 million project. At Oakbank Area School, uh, we had two grants last year, indeed, uh, for the bitumen replacement and the roof replacement, uh, nearly $700,000 to Oakbank Area School, uh, alongside a $100,000 grant that came to the school as part of the government's commitment to give every single public school and preschool in this state uh, a a, a maintenance grant last year which they could spend on their local priority projects. So Oakbank Area School did very well out of that. Nan Primary School and Woodside Primary School also uh, had long-standing maintenance requests, so the bitumen court replacement at Nan and the gym floor replacement at Woodside were able to benefit. But, sir, the member for Carver will be pleased that the Handoff Preschool, preschools in Littlehampton, Mount Barker, Nan, Oakbank, Willow Close and Woodside, uh, alongside the schools, Handoff Primary, Littlehampton Primary, Mount Barker High, Mount Barker Primary, Mount Barker South Primary, Nan Primary School, Oakbank Area School and Woodside Primary School. Each and every one has received grants of between $20,000 and $100,000 last year to support those urgent projects. Tradies, small businesses, suppliers, small businesses right across Carvel will be the beneficiaries. Jobs now and a legacy of improved facilities for the future.